I fit it over the covers for you. Come on, lad. I just feel so cutesy. They throw one spring onion on it and a bit of salt and pepper and call it salt and pepper. Are you dumb? I had a dream last night that someone said I had dry lips, which is like very offensive to me. I'm going out for some pancakes. Grow up, first of all. Oh my god, I'm like a little vulture. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by HelloFresh. You guys know I love to cook and it makes me so happy, but my life gets real busy and I don't want to think about meal planning and what I need to buy from the shops. It stresses me out. So I love recipe boxes and HelloFresh is my favorite. They have loads of different recipes to suit everyone and they change the menu every single week. So there's always something new to try. One of my main goals for this year was to budget and spend less money. And for me, HelloFresh is a budget friendly option. I love how I know exactly what I'm going to eat for the week and how much it'll cost me. And I also love to know that it's going to be tasty. Using my code Tamsin here will give you 60% off and make your first box only £12 and it'll give you 20% off your next two months as well. You can also cancel or pause your box at any time. I've been a long-term HelloFresh user and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Look at my dinner. This is the HelloFresh Yaki style beef udon noodles with pak choy mushrooms and crispy onions. Oh! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, let me get some beef. Mmm. I love this shape of noodle, like the thick, chewy udon. So, if you want to try HelloFresh, you can get 60% off your first box and 20% off your next two months with the code Tamsin Hill. So check it out for yourself. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, my little loves, my little chickens, my little chickadees. We're back for another vlog. I'm not vlogged since Barbados, which is about two weeks ago. But I thought I'd vlog this weekend because I'm doing some cute stuff. It's Friday night right now. I'm about to head out because I've booked a studio from six to nine and I'm gonna record some Valentine's Day content. Look at my Valentine's Day nails. I wasn't even gonna get Valentine's Day nails, but she managed to convince me. So cute. Anyway, I'm all glam because I'm gonna go there, shoot some outfit inspo, take some lingerie photos, all of that good stuff. So you're gonna come with me. I've booked a studio that I've never used before. It's called Minimal Studios. So we're just gonna go there. Let me see if I need any snacks for the journey. I don't have many like snacky bits in the house right now. No snacks, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine, I'll just eat after. And I'm gonna like come home from there and just come home. But I look so cute right now that I'm like, maybe I'll text one of my friends and ask if they're doing anything. Cause like, I can't let this makeup go waste, no? Let's go and shoot some content. You fit a double deck of us for you, come on lad. The weather has been so grim at the moment. Like it's just raining and it's cold. I'm really not here for it guys. Like I am, I promise you. Oh, oh I'm getting a go. Hello, love. I hate them people that call for like three rings and they don't, if you don't answer, they're hanging up like, relax, I'm just getting to it. I'm going to a new studio today. I've never used this one before. Oh, it's called Minimal Studios, but you know what swayed it for me? They have like a Valentine's Day set up in the studio. Like they've got all these red balloons, these hearts. And I was like, you know what? That is so cute. So let me go try it out. Um, and I'm pretty sure the guy that owns this studio used to work at a studio I used to use all the time. So we'll just see how it goes. But I'm excited. I did one of these like content days back in, it might have been November time and I really enjoyed it. And I kind of want to do more of them because sometimes it's good to just go to the studio, shoot loads of content and just have it all there. And then the editing, the editing's kind of long, I can't lie. But to be honest, I'm actually thinking about getting an editor. So that's exciting. Okay, I need to pay attention because I don't know where the flipping hell I'm going. 90 yards, turn left. Here, I'll go, oh, hello. Oh, thank God I didn't miss that. Where am I? Oh, big fat pothole. Oh my, mama, oh my, fly, I look good. Mm, feel a bit funny leaving my car on a dodgy street like this, but uh, well, we will just see what happens. Okay, I think I'm here. We'll see what happens. Mm. Recording. 
Oh dear, you've been here a long time, love. I've just finished my lingerie. It turned out so good, I'm so excited. I don't want to talk too much because of copyright in the background. But this is looking good. Guys, I'm so tired and grumpy, I can't lie to you. But I meant to talk to you in the car on the way back, but I forgot. The shoot went well, the shoot went good. Let me show you some of the pictures because, pfft, yeah. And I did all this alone. So I use an app called Lens Buddy when I want to take pictures, which really helps a lot. Like, look at this cute little number. Why is it not focusing? Okay, adorable. I got some really good lingerie ones. Look how cute this is. And then I got this dress. It's very much giving bridesmaid, I can't lie. Well, I am kind of obsessed. And then they had some roses there, like fake roses. Look at these. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, my camera battery's flashing. It was a good shoot day. I didn't get everything done, so I'll probably have to do that over the next couple of days at home, but that's fine. I'm starving. I wanted to go to Chinatown. I drove to Chinatown because I wanted to go to this... I wanted to go to this place called Wazushi, which is like a sushi bell, and they do really nice ramen. Because I'm not trying to spend too much money at the moment, so I didn't want to order on delivery because it's like £20 to get one thing. It's so annoying. So I drove there. Anyway, parking suspension. Can't park anywhere in Chinatown because Chinese New Year. So I was like, oh my God. Then I called up the place. I said, what time did you close? And they said half nine, and it was 20 past nine. And I was like... So I decided to just come home, and there's a Chinese across the road. So I was like, let me show you a Chinese from across the road. Go and collect it, cash only. And I remembered I've got a £20 note upstairs. Bob's your uncle, bish bash bosh. Hopefully this is going to cheer me up. I'm just going to lie in bed now and edit all my content. But I'll get my Chinese and I'll show you when it is collected. This smells unbelievable. Honey cut sticky chicken with boiled rice and salt and pepper chips. Mmm. It's sweet and a little bit spicy. I think it's spicy from the salt and pepper chips. I never really go to this Chinese because I don't actually eat that much like Chinese from the Chinese, you know what I mean? But because of chips as well. I love when they're like that. And that is a proper salt and pepper chip. Like, I hate when they throw a bit of like, they throw, they throw one spring onion on it and a bit of salt and pepper and call it salt and pepper. Are you dumb? That's not salt and pepper. And sometimes when you, I don't know why I'm eating with my hands, sorry. Sometimes when you get the, like, the crispy chicken or crispy beef, like, it's all shriveled up and disgusting. That's actually a proper piece of chicken. It looks homemade. The focus on this camera is something else. Why is it focusing on that chip like that? I've got a little dim sum. Oh. Hargao, shumai, and, no, not shumai. Yeah, shumai. And something else, I don't know what the other one is gonna be good but I've just been supposed to it I and mean, I've just collected something and I know what it is basically let me tell you a story let me pull this chair hold on basically I've been following this page on Instagram for about four years they're called mud urban flowers and they're based in Glasgow in Scotland right they just make beautiful bunches of flowers so I followed them from time ago when I saw them on Instagram because I was like wow like those flowers are unbelievable I, just, I like looking at pretty flowers and I once went to Glasgow for my birthday in 2020 and I thought oh my god I should go and get a bunch of flowers from there and I never did and whatnot whatnot anyway look at this like they are just like are you mad they put up the most beautiful pictures Stunning. Anyway, so like, you know, I've followed them for like four years, like their stuff every now and then. Anyway, they must have seen me liking their stuff. I wasn't liking their stuff on purpose. Like, you know, I just like the picture. They must have seen me liking it. And then they messaged me and was like, hi, Emma, love your videos. How have I not seen your page before? I'd love to send you a bouquet. Like, I've been obsessed with them for years. And they was like, we'd love to send you a bouquet. Anyway, this has just showed up. And I know it is their branding, look. So I think there's a bunch of flowers in there. I didn't know they did like nationwide delivery. I knew they did delivery within like the Glasgow area, but they do same day delivery in central Scotland and next day delivery UK wide. And like they come as a bunch of flowers like already, or they have an actual florist in Glasgow. I'm pretty sure it's Glasgow. I'm not sure, maybe have multiple places or whatever, but back in 2020, they had one in Glasgow. So let's open these flowers. I'm so excited. It's gonna be, and it's nearly Valentine's Day. And they sent me that message back in January, but obviously I went on holiday and I had a lot going on. So now it just so happens that it's like near Valentine's Day. Oh, I love flowers. Let's open it. I wanna be gentle with it. 
Emma, your mud bouquet is made from fresh seasonal flowers and handpicked by our team. We hope you love it. And there's like care instructions. What's this? Oh, dear. They've written me a note. Dear Emma, hope you love the blooms and early Valentine's treat. Love Chloe and all the team at Mud. Oh my God, I'm excited. Ah! First of all, they gave me some biscuits. Oh my days. They're beautiful. <laughs> I kind of want to keep them with the elastic band on, but I need to trim them. All right, let's just give them a quick little, you know? Ugh, ugh, fuck me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you, yeah. Sorry, but I'm going to keep the elastic band on them so they stay all uniform and together. Right, I'm gonna enjoy this Chinese girls. Guys, can we please take a moment for these adorable pajamas? I got one ASOS, but I think they're actually in the style. With that like a little Valentine's Day pajama set. I really don't need any more pajamas, but let me let me put the camera down because these are different, okay? They're shorts. Yeah. And the thing is, they're not short shorts, like they're an actual good length of short. It's like a boxer short. I just feel so cutesy. Yeah, like I said, I do not need more pajamas. I definitely need a clear out. I've been saying this, guys, and I'm sure it's annoying for you. I'm sure it's annoying for you guys because I keep talking about how I need to clear out, I need to clear out, I need to get, like, you know, do a clear out and sell my stuff and whatnot, whatnot. But it's because I mean it. I do need to do that. I've nearly run out of this. This is the Origins Checks and Balances Cleansing Oil. I really like it. It's just like a cleansing balm, to be honest. Oh, I'm really happy. Like, I've just been sat on the sofa watching Love on the Spectrum. That's my, like, obsession at the moment. Love on the Spectrum. It is so good. And I just think all of the people on it are just so sweet. It is, yeah, I love it. It's such a feel good watch. If you want to watch something and just like cheer yourself up and be happy. I swear to God, all the people of that show were just like the purest humans ever. And I want the best for every single one of them. Yeah, I've just been editing my stuff I shot today and it, yeah, it turned out good. I can't lie. I'm really happy. I've not even looked at any of the video footage yet. And I went there to do mainly video footage, but like the pictures that I did take, I've edited and they look good. But now I'm feeling really good today. Oh, let me tell you something that happened to me yesterday. I can't tell you whilst I'm looking like this, so. Hi. So, yesterday I had a really shitty day. Let me brush my teeth and I'll tell you about it. So, let's have a little chat. Today, I'm feeling quite good and quite positive, actually. Because yesterday, oh my God, I'm getting hair all over my face. Yesterday, oh my God, yesterday was actually a day from hell. Guys. I got triggered about something. Something triggered me really badly. And like, obviously, a lot of you, if you've been here a long time, you'll know. I started therapy in 2020 and I'm still doing therapy now, actually. I used to do it every week and then, I'm not sure when, maybe definitely over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, or even two years ago, I went down to once a fortnight. So I see my therapist once a fortnight. And honestly, like, I could have packed in with it a long time ago. Like, it's more like a comfort blanket to me. And I'm like, okay, like, I like going, I like venting to someone, I like talking to someone, I like talking through stuff. It has been unbelievably helpful to me going to therapy. Like, I have completely changed as a person and I just understand myself so much better now. But yeah, like, I probably could have stopped therapy, like, two years ago. <laughs> you know? But anyway, I've been working through stuff, like, even still. But I mean, I could have probably maybe worked through it alone. But anyway, I don't regret it. I've had a great time. I've told my therapist I'm gonna finish therapy at the end of February. Can we believe that? Like I actually did it. I said to her, I'm gonna stop. I'm well equipped now to deal with anything else that comes my way, like alone. And then there's always the option if I wanna go back or have a one-off session, that option is there. I say all of this to say, oh, Okay, I've, I've got 13 minutes left on my card. I say all of this to say, yesterday, I got incredibly triggered by something. And this hasn't happened to me for a really long time. And it's so funny now, having done all this work on myself, like seeing that trigger play out and knowing 
why that was happening and like seeing certain behavioural patterns that I would have done or certain like um, defence mechanisms that I'm putting into place and I'm like, oh, you're doing that because you feel hurt in this area. Um, it was crazy. Like, and the things that are, like, the feelings of like, let me just like, oh, this is so weird, like feeling them feelings, but also observing it as someone that's like healed a lot of their trauma and understands why that pattern happens. It's very strange. Anyway, I had an anxiety attack yesterday, which is probably the first anxiety attack I've had in well over a year. I can't remember the last one that I had. I don't generally feel anxious nowadays compared to like a few years ago when it was like a daily struggle for me. But I had an anxiety attack yesterday. And so I was wiped out. Also had this anxiety attack while I was driving. Very dangerous. I had to pull the car over and I was like hyperventilating. But the thing is, I've had quite a few anxiety attacks in my time, so I know how to calm myself down from it, but it's just so intense. Like, the feelings are just so, so, so intense. And I'm trying not to feel, like, disappointed. And there's nothing to be disappointed about. Like, there really isn't. Like, obviously, I just feel a bit upset that, like, I've had one because it's been so long that I haven't had one. But at the same time, I'm trying to give myself patience and be gentle with myself because you can't help when something like that happens, you know what I mean? Like, I can't help that I was triggered by something that, that led me down a spiralling path to end up in an anxiety attack, do you know what I mean? So yeah, last night I was, oh my God, exhausted. I felt really bad as well because my friend, tried, a few people tried to call me and my flatmate Fajira was trying to chat to me and my mum called me and I was just like, I can't talk to any of you. Like, I just the even the thought of talking was just like nah and I feel a bit I mean yeah I feel a bit bad because I was really blunt but everyone understands like you know I spoke to them today and was like this is what happened to me and they're like it's fine because after that anxiety attack I had to come home and shoot get ready and shoot content because it, it was due yesterday so like I just had to put a brave face on <laughs> and yeah just do my shit which I did and it all worked out fine but I was really worried that I would feel shit all weekend. So when I woke up today, I felt a lot lighter, a lot lighter than I felt yesterday. And I was just like, you know what? It is what it is. And I went on a walk today with my friend and we got a nice little, oh, you know where I went? I went to this place called Michael's in Manchester, never been before. She loves that place. So we went and I got a pistachio ice latte does not taste like coffee it tastes like a milkshake they do loads of sweet stuff if you're into sweet drinks go to michael's it's in the royal exchange like the arcade but yeah i went and did that then i came home got ready and gone on this shoot by myself um and you know what like it's proper like fulfilled me like i feel really good and like i'm really happy that i've got that content and you know what like as much as this job can be a lot this job actually makes me really happy because like creating stuff and like being inspired and all that stuff just makes me happy. So I'm really happy I did that today because I'm feeling a lot better. Oh, so I don't know, I just want to share that with you guys because you might look at my life and be like, oh my God, everything's perfect. But girl, sometimes I'll be having anxiety attacks too. Sometimes we'll be going through it, we're only human. <laughs> and so if you're dealing with anything like that, I just want you to feel like you're not weird or you're not alone or anything like that. But I'm actually going to have a really nice weekend. Tomorrow, I'll probably carry on doing a bit of work tomorrow because I didn't get everything filmed that I wanted to get filmed. So I'll probably do some stuff tomorrow, maybe hit the gym. And then tomorrow night, I'm going out for my friend's birthday drinks. And then on Sunday, I'm going to a yoga event. So, oh my gosh, you remember I was telling you guys about that? Scotty Yoga. I'm going to his event on Sunday and I'm really excited about that. And then I'll probably clean the house and... Um, you know, have a cute old time. And then I've got therapy on Monday. Great. Can't wait for therapy on Monday. Oh my God, and then it's pancake day and then it's Valentine's day. I don't have any Valentine's plans, guys. I don't. Because Valentine's falls on a Wednesday and me and the guy that I'm seeing, we're gonna do something this weekend, but he ended up being busy this weekend. And then he was like, it's fine, we'll do the weekend after. But I'm busy next weekend and I'm busy the weekend after. And then we're in March and then it's like, oh, what's the point? And he we were he lives in London and I live obviously in Manchester, so midweek is not really like a feasible thing. 
I guess I'm not doing anything for Valentine's Day. So I might do a little Galentine's for myself or something of the sort. We will see. Anyway, I'm knackerooed. Knackerooed. So let's go to bed. Okay, bye. <laughs> My memory card died, Turkish eggs. I've not had this in ages and I love this breakfast. I don't think I put, well, it feels quite spicy, but I don't feel like I put enough chili in because the color of the butter is kind of light. Right. Yeah, you. Yeah. What have you made? It smells good. Turkish eggs. It's just garlic, yogurt, and poached eggs and chili and butter. How are you? Yeah, good. What are you up to today? I'm just gonna edit. I'm gonna watch Drag Race. Because that's my Saturday morning ritual. I'm gonna, well, it's not morning anymore, it's one o'clock. Anyway, I'm gonna watch Drag Race. And then I'm gonna figure out, I think I might need to, I need to edit some of the stuff I did yesterday and I also need to shoot more stuff. So I just need to have a little organised, get myself together. Because tonight I'm going out for drinks for my friend's birthday. Yeah, she did say to meet at her house, but I guess if I'm running late, I could just meet them at the place. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay, guys, I'm ready. I didn't film any of my getting ready process because I was on the phone. That's If I'm never filming, like, my getting ready process, it's because I'm on FaceTime. Anyway, let me show you my outfit. It's only, like, six o'clock. We're going out early, which hopefully should mean we're going to get home early, which would be good because I need to be up for, like, half eight tomorrow morning. I am wearing this sleeveless jumpsuit from PLT. I really like this jumpsuit because I was worried that it was going to be see-through and it's not. It's, like, a really nice spandexy, stretchy material, so it feels comfy, looks great, isn't see-through. Yeah. I've just got these Converse on. I don't know if you can see. Ah, Converse. And then I've got this new jacket from PLT. It's clinging about a bit. Do you know what I mean? But oh well. I think I should have sized down in this, but I really want to wear it. But it does look kind of cute, like nice and oversized. It doesn't have pockets. Like, I'm going to start beef with PLT because I've bought a few things recently that were so cute but didn't have pockets. What's going on? I just need a little something, you know what I mean? This is cute though, I like it, it's somewhat different. I think they might do this in maybe a blue colour as well, but I just thought the yellow was giving Kill Bill vibes. And then I've got this little bag from ASOS. So yeah, like casual but sexy, that is my vibe, always. I need to get some chewing gum and then I need to leave the gaff. I'll try and vlog some stuff on my phone, but the friends that I'm gonna be out with don't really like to be videoed. <laughs> so yeah, I might video a couple of things, but it's gonna be, I'm not sure what kind of night it's gonna be. I'm hoping it's gonna be not too crazy because I've got stuff to do tomorrow, but yeah. Tell you what, didn't film a single thing. Oh, oh no, I've just broke my necklace. I've just broke it. Oh God. Didn't film a single thing and I call myself a vlogger. I can't lie, as soon as I left this house, I forgot that I was even vlogging. Sorry, it's not you, it's me. I'm slightly tipsy, you know, I've had quite a few to drink, but I'm not like drunk drunk. Tell you what, with me, it gets quite bad because the like second, third drink in, I start getting like tipsy and I get all giddy and excited. After that third drink has settled in and I carry on drinking more, like I'm obviously getting more drunk, but I don't feel like I am. I feel like I'm sober. My mind will play this weird trick on me. And then by that point, it's not that I'm not having fun, like I am having fun, but I don't feel any more drunk than I did at drink three, you know? Very strange. I'm a good girl who uh, washes her face. I've just been on a night out. I had a lovely time. It was wonderful. So basically my friend's brother owns this place in Manchester called Trough, which is like a bar. They do a really good roast, I'm not gonna lie. If you're in Manchester after a roast in Northern Quarter, Trough. Actually, we went to the pub first. Went to the pub and then we went to Trough and we had some dinner and we had some drinks and it was good. They had a little DJ in there. It's about 1am now. I need to get up early, which I'm very not, I'm very not good. I'm not very good at waking up early, especially on the weekend. Because I need to be at yoga for 10am, like between 10 and quarter past. So I can walk there in like 20 minutes. So I'm going to walk hopefully if I'm up in good time. Or I could just get a tram, but you know. I can't take myself seriously while I look like a flipping oil painting. Basically, there's this guy that I follow on Instagram, and he's in, his Instagram, at, I'll put it down below, it's called Scotty is Fat, and he basically is a yoga teacher, but he does yoga 
for all different abilities. I started attending more yoga classes last year and one thing I found at all the yoga classes I went to, I was always the biggest person in the room. Now this doesn't really bother me but I was just so, I was like I wonder why like not many other plus size people are doing yoga because it's not something that's like, obviously some classes are harder than others, but it's something that all abilities should be able to do. Sorry, the tap is running. Because yoga is that kind of thing where you can adjust something to your level, no matter what the movement is. Like I literally remember putting something on my Instagram being like, have you guys ever tried yoga? Like, have you been put off from trying yoga and X, Y, and Z? And a lot of people messaged me and was like, I want to try it, but I'm scared. And I do feel like the yoga aesthetic is something that feels unattainable to a lot of people because they're like, oh, it's for like thin, white, privileged women. You know what I mean? Because it does kind of give off that vibe, I can't lie sometimes. But that's obviously not the true essence of the yoga practice. So yeah, I remember like putting something out there and people were like, I would love to try it. And then it got me thinking maybe I should like host my own class. Anyway, just by chance, this guy popped up on my Instagram, Scotty, and he is a yoga teacher and he's a bigger guy and he basically does yoga for all abilities and it's accessible yoga or makes it more accessible, you know, for people that want to try it. We basically got in touch with each other and we were chatting a bit and then he said, I'm hosting a class in Feb, you should come. So that's what I'm going to tomorrow. So I'm going to one of his classes, I'm really excited. And I think hopefully we're gonna have a little chat afterwards and see if we can collaborate on some kind of yoga class together. So that's gonna be fun. So I need to get up early, it's one o'clock right now. I'm gonna go straight to bed and then hopefully I can get up for around eight, half eight. I'm not gonna go to yoga, girl. I've not been to yoga since the beginning of Jan, so I'm excited. I need to leave in three minutes. I need to put on my skincare and we can be out the door. Good morning though, guys. Happy Sunday. Just putting in my earrings because even though I'm going to yoga, I don't care. I want to look cute everywhere. I need some dry shampoo. Much better. A little bit of skincare. I'm going to put on a bit of brow gel and get out of here, girl. I had a dream last night that someone said I had dry lips, which is like very offensive to me because I'm like, I have a thing about my lips. Like, they always have to have lip balm on. Like, I'm constantly lip balming myself. And in my dreams, someone said I had dry lips and crusty lips, and I was like, <laughs> rude. I left my house in a proper shithole last night, getting ready. You know like when you're getting ready and you just put things everywhere? That's what happened to me. I'm ordering my Uber right now. Uber, Uber, Uber. I was gonna walk there, but guess what? I'm too late and it's so foggy outside today. It's freaking me out a bit. I woke up and I couldn't see anything. It was just white and I was like, oh, this is scary. Oh my God, why is it not connecting to an Uber? I'm getting scared now. I need to leave like right now. So if it's not connected to something by the time I get downstairs, I guess I'm driving. Just as I stood up, it connected. Okay, let's go. So lovely. I didn't film anything because there's people doing yoga behind me and I was like, I don't want to get them on the camera if they're not comfortable with it. So I actually didn't film anything, but oh, let me sit on this little bench. It was lovely. I'm really happy. I love starting off like a day with yoga and Scotty is amazing. Like that's the first time we met and we just got on so well. So we're, oh, excuse me. We're going to go for a coffee, I think later in the week. So that'll be cute. Hopefully we can get some sort of event organized with me and him. He was an amazing teacher. The words he uses, how accessible he makes it for everyone. Obsessed. I've just come to Deansgate Muse right now. Have a look. That is lovely. So, I'm gonna go to the bakery over there, get a loaf of bread, I think, because I just fancy some like nice bread. And then there's a little acai place over there. I don't know if to get breakfast. I definitely want a coffee, but I don't know about breakfast. We'll see. <laughs> Can I get a peanut butter and jelly toast? Nice, dirty, even the chai. Mm, You're like in the kitchen. Mmm, the aromas. It's my favourite part, you know. I enjoy that more than the actual eating of it. Mmm, the flavours are melting on my tongue. I've got two meals that last me till 
Wednesday and then Wednesday night. Yeah. That man is insane. I'm cleaning the gaffer. So let's do a little time lapse because it just needs to be tidied. Who do you think I am? Don't you know that he was my man? Well, I chose to let him go, so why do you cry? I care about him, I'm looking at me like I'm hurt. I'm not the one who said I didn't want it first. Don't you forget I had first. Guys, good morning. Happy Monday. I've just sat in my bed and watched the Usher halftime performance. Oh my God, it was good. Why is this not charging? Oh, my laptop does this really childish thing where like I'll plug her in to charge and then as I plug it in, like it dies. Grow up, first of all. Anyway, that Usher performance was so good. I swear to God, I need Usher to do a UK tour. It's not even, just give me a London date. I can do a London date, but I can't do when you're in Texas, you know what I mean? Like, give me a London day. Cause I love Usher, like I grew up on Usher. The Confessions album got absolutely rinsed in my mum and dad's car. My mum was an R&B girly. Why is it not turning on? I've got therapy. <laughs> I've got therapy and it started three minutes ago. My laptop's not turning on. And I'm really like, I'm not gonna lie, like, oh, I can't be therapy today. Cause I know I'm gonna cry. Like I have to talk about some shit today. <sighs> Hello. Morning. You okay? Yeah, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Okay, it's done. I actually didn't cry that much. I actually didn't cry that much. Man, I'm so proud of all the progress I've made these past few years. It's flipping crazy. If you're thinking about therapy, it has changed my life. You might have to shop around to get the right person because I feel like people think, oh, the first person I go to, they're going to be the one for me. It doesn't always happen like that. Therapy has done bits for me, I can't lie. And I didn't cry that much today. And it was nice. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. So, I am absolutely ravished. I don't know what to cook for breakfast. I might just have to do like a avocado on toast with egg. Oh, I've not had that in ages, you know. My tummy is rumbling. Which one should I eat first, the avocado or banana? Avocado and then the banana should be like, mmm, it's so sweet. Okay. The avocado with the chili oil. Oh. This is a great idea. I did toast two ways, Ooh. savory, sweet. I love a poached egg, I'm into poached eggs at the moment. Hello loves. It is Tuesday. I really meant to take you in the gym with me. I got to the gym and I forgot. You've been in the back seat and my camera just stopped because my memory card was full and now the battery's flashing. We really can't catch a break today, guys, but I'm impressed and today. Just been to the gym. I did a really heavy leg session. And then I just went to Boots because I had to buy some into dental brushes and I paid for them with my points. Is there nothing more satisfying than feeling like you walked out of there with something for free? £9.50, paid for it with my Boots points, love to see it. So I'm just on my way to my mum and dad's office now. I'm gonna go do some work there for a bit and then see my nephews. And I think I'm gonna go home later on instead of staying here tonight because it's pancake day. And my friend was like, do you wanna go out for some pancakes? So I'm excited. So we'll see where the day takes us. I've got the weirdest outfit on because I wanted to wear a jumper, but I'm like, oh, I probably just need a jacket. So I brought this jacket, but I don't like this jacket. I don't wanna wear it. <laughs> 
Okay. So, I'm going out for some pancakes. I'm absolutely chuffed. So I had a nice day, you know. Saw my nephews, bless my little nephew. He was feeling poorly. Yeah, my little baby wasn't feeling too good. When I got there, he was having a nap and he was so warm, like his temperature was up. And then he woke up. <laughs> he woke up, so he'd asked his nana, my tummy, he said, my tummy hurts, can I have a sick bowl? So he was having a nap and then he woke up and he looked at me, he saw me there and he went, it's pancake day. <laughs> that was the first thing on the child's mind. I said to my mum, what have you been feeding him? Because there's chocolate around his mouth. And she said, he came to me with the chocolate around his mouth. So I think he'd been having pancakes at home. Maybe that's why his tummy hurt, he ate too much. But I was on the phone to my friend Vicky and he was like speaking to her. And he's going, Vicky, next time I come to Nana's house and I'm feeling better, I'll call you. <laughs> Bless him, no. I just love my little sprogs. So currently, I'm going to pick my friend up, Steph. And we're gonna go and have some pancakes, oh my God. We don't know where we're going. So we were gonna go to this place in Northern Quarter called The Shack because they were doing bottomless pancakes for 15 pound. And then I said to her, babe, in reality, like how many plates of pancakes are you gonna have? Because I know for me, one and a half and I'll be done. Like, I don't even need the half, just give me the one. Because when stuff is like super, super sugary, like one plate is enough. So like, let's be for real. So I think we're just gonna go Northern Quarter. I kind of want to go to Black Milk because I feel like they're gonna be really nice pancakes. But we'll just kind of have a little look around. If we can't get in there, we can always go to other places. So there's no plan right now. I think we're gonna go Northern Quarter though. And bless my dad. He was trying to be sleuth about it, right? When I was at his before, he was like, what time are you going home? What time are you going home? I was like, I don't know. And he's like, well, can you wait until I get home? I know he was gonna give me some flowers because my dad does this. Like, I've said it before, but it's become like a bit of a tradition now when my dad buys me flowers on Valentine's Day. So obviously he buys my mum flowers and then he buys, it's not just me, he buys all the women that work for him flowers. So he got me a really nice bunch of flowers, came home with them. I'll show you them when I get home. I think his ones last year though, like his ones last year were top tier. Like there was like all red roses and pink and yeah, real cute. But this year it's like more of a selection. I think there's even like an orchid in there. They're really pretty. I'm not doing anything for Valentine's Day. But I'm hoping for some flowers tomorrow, I can't lie. The, the, yeah, flowers. I'm gonna need some flowers or shit's gonna hit the fan. <laughs> that sounds bad, but you know, I don't ask for much. I'm a flower girl. All I want is a card and some flowers. But I mean, he's not stupid, so I'll be getting some card and some flowers. <laughs> if he knows what's good for him. Oh my God, that makes it sound like I'm manipulative. Like, like I'm some evil mastermind, like you better get me flowers or I'm gonna kick off. I wouldn't kick off, but he would be single. <laughs> well, I'm getting a bit peckish now, but I'm kind of like, oh, I'm gonna eat something sweet and I don't wanna eat something sweet. I kind of want some a bit savory, but oh well. This is the predicament I've put myself in. Oh my God, the flipping orange lies. I just went down a bit of a rabbit hole watching um, Super Bowl halftime performances from years gone by. I am hungry, you know. I've got this really nice jumpsuit on. You know that jumpsuit I wore on Saturday night? I really like it. Once I figured out, yeah, it's one these windscreen markers. Once I figured out, yeah, it's 100% not see-through. Like, I'm obsessed. Like, I want to wear it everywhere. Like, it is kind of like... I don't want to say it's compressing because it's not uncomfortable, but it's like that kind of material that like hugs you like really nicely. Um, and it's nice and tight. The only thing is, it's hard to do up. I've managed to like understand it now, but yeah, you got to zip it all, it zips all the way to the top at the back, which when you're living alone, well, obviously I don't live alone, but I don't fancy getting Fajero to zip me up. Do you know what I mean? I can struggle and manage. So I'll see you when we get to a pancake spot, whichever one we get to. Did I get my nose in it? Oh, I've got Kinderella and she's got white chocolate pistachio. So we're in black milk in Northern Quarter. And it was busy when we got here. We, we persevered. I nearly left. Are you the one you me? I nearly left because I was like, first. Was, oh, but Steph said no ever. Persevere. Persistent. And guess what? You was right. Because they said it would take an hour to come and it took about 20 minutes. Yeah, it's that. Like we ordered it when I paid. I paid 19 minutes ago. I swear, he didn't want us to come in. No, I'm trying to deter us. This is proper filth. I feel like it's kind of peanut buttery as well. Mine's got Nutella. Cinderella. I love that. 
you're going to enjoy our pancakes. Can I try yours? Oh, not live, not sugar and lemon. Oh, did you want sugar and lemon? I didn't want it, but that's traditional, isn't it? But we came out to have dirty pancakes. To be fair, I'm not going to lie to you, I think it's a bit much, like all the chocolate. Like, it's really nice, but it's very sweet. You know when it coats your mouth? Yeah. No, I like that pistachio. I prefer this kind of pancake, like, I do like a crepe, or with lemon and sugar. Yeah. Like it needs that squirty cream on yeah. it to be way too much. Hello loves, it's a couple of days later. I've just come here to end out the vlog. And the last bit of footage I edited was the pancakes from Pancake Day. And I'm looking at that thinking, mmm, I could do that all over again. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you very soon with a new one. I've made a commitment to myself to upload two videos a week for the next month. Because I, I made, a, oh, I made a, tr a thing with my dad. I'll talk to you about it in the next vlog. I made a little deal with my dad about me editing and Anyway, we'll discuss in the next vlog, but I'll see you very soon. Love you so much and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, bye.